Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn the B minor chord and the C minor chord. And they're both easy chords to play, and you can, um, I think you'll be, find them to be very useful once you have them down. They are on three strings, the G string, the B string, and the high E string, so strings number three, two, and one, respectively. And you're going to use your third finger on the third string, your second finger on the second string, and your first finger on the first string. And for the, the B minor chord, you're going to start with a B on the third string, that's the fourth fret of the third string. Then you're going to play a D on the second string, that's third fret of the second string, and then you're going to play the F sharp with your index finger, your first finger, and that's going to be on the second fret of the first string, and that's, that's F sharp. So it's B, D, F sharp, and all together it sounds like this. Now in an earlier lesson we talked about seeing the guitar chords as shapes if possible. It's not always possible, but that this kind of a minor chord, this B minor chord, is a kind of diagonal line that slants down towards the head of the guitar. I don't know if you can see that, but if it's if that if you can, it's helpful to consider it. It'll help you remember the shape of the chord. So that's the B minor chord. Now the good news is the C minor chord is the same hand shape, but we're just going to slide it up a little higher on the guitar. And we're going to get into movable chord shapes in the book a little later, and this is an example of a movable chord shape where you can take the same finger shape for a chord and slide it to a different part of the guitar neck and play in a different key, but still have the same quality of the chord. In other words, you can take a B minor chord and keep your hand in the same exact finger positions and slide it up one fret and you can play a C minor chord. And you could even slide it up two more frets here and play a D minor chord. And you might see, and this is a little side note, that you can play chords, the same kind of chord, like a D minor chord, in different parts of the neck by reordering the notes and playing in a different hand position. And we're going to be learning this a little later in the book, but I'll give you a demonstration now. So here's the D minor chord we learned before. We can also play it here, and we can play it here. And those are just three examples. There are a lot of more possibilities for D minor. So have fun with these B minor and C minor chords. Take your time learning them, and I will see you in the next lesson.